Leading the contributions, Red Force pledged 100,000 Namibian dollars, followed closely by First National Bank with 80,000 Namibian dollars, while Ondangwa Private Hospital pledged 30,000 Namibian dollars. Minister of Industrialization and Trade, Lucia Ipumbu, commended Ondangwa for its remarkable growth, trajectory under decisive leadership. In a speech read on her behalf by the Oshana Regional Council Chairperson, Andrea Sutoni said, as a ministry, they are aware of various developmental aspirations and initiatives of the town and continue to engage various platforms to forge collaborations. As government, it is our ambition to constantly provide and promote opportunity for investment, growth, and collaboration. Our economy still requires diversification, diversification which includes the establishment of vibrant manufacturing, value addition to local produced goods and expansion with regard to our service industry. Only with this objective in mind can we as a nation industrialize, be able to create permanent and sustainable jobs and remain competitive not only with our neighbors, but also with the continent and the world at large. Tony further added that the expo will benefit local entrepreneurs, giving them a chance to display and sell what they grow, create and produce. Moreover, Ipumbu indicated that the government through her ministry will continue to encourage and support local entrepreneurship through the growth and home concept. Government through the Ministry of Industrialization and Trade will continue to encourage and support local entrepreneurship through the Growth at Home conception. The concept has been developed and implemented especially for the purpose to boost local production and consumption. Let me therefore implore up all businesses in Ondangwa to remain attuned to our ministerial information on various platforms and apply for all business support grants during the financial year, such as the Equipment Aid Scheme and the Industrial Upgrading Modernization Program grants, which will be advertised by the ministry in the next three months. The Expo concept has been developed and implemented specifically to boost local production and consumption. The Expo is scheduled to start from the 30th of April to the 4th of May this year.